In this section, we're going to go over some troubleshooting with issues that you may have with your Kindle. And the first issue is that your Kindle will not turn on. The main solution to this problem will be to recharge your Kindle using a power adapter that came with the device and plug it in into an AC outlet. Make sure that the charging light next to the micro USB port lights up while you are charging. Allow the device to be charged in this manner for at least 30 minutes. Slide and release the power switch. If your Kindle does not turn on, then try resetting it by doing the following. 1. Disconnect your Kindle from any power source. 2. Slide and hold the power switch for 15 seconds then release. Note that the screen will be blank for about 30 seconds while your Kindle restarts. The next issue you may have is that your wireless is not working. First try turning wireless off and then back on. To turn the wireless off, press menu, choose turn wireless off, and repeat these steps and choose turn wireless on. If turning the wireless off then back on doesn't work then try restarting your Kindle by doing the following. Press the home button, press the menu button, select settings, press the menu button, select restart. The next issue you may have is receiving only a partial download. And the suggestion for this is to delete the content and re-download from archived items by following these steps. Use the five-way controller to select the content from the home screen. Press the left arrow on the five-way controller to delete and press the five-way select key to confirm. Open the archived items in the home screen and select the content and press the select button in the middle of the five-way control to re-download the content. The next problem that you may come across is problems transferring content. Try connecting your Kindle directly to your computer's USB port instead of a USB hub or keyboard. If your Kindle was already connected directly to your computer's USB port, then try a different port on your computer. If you have antivirus software installed on your computer, turn it off temporarily prior to transferring content from your computer to your Kindle. Next problem that you may come across is that your Kindle does not charge when using a power adapter. Check to see if the charging light next to your Kindle's micro USB port is lit. If not, then try another AC outlet. If the charging light still does not come on, then try restarting your Kindle by doing the following. Press the home button, press the menu button, select settings, press the menu button, select restart. The next problem that you may come across is that you cannot open any of your books in the Kindle. Try restarting your Kindle by doing the following. Press the home button, press the menu button, select settings, press the menu button again, and select restart. If restarting your Kindle does not resolve the issue, then try doing a factory reset of your Kindle. Prior to doing so, back up any personal documents, periodical issues older than the past seven issues that you'd like to keep and do a factory reset by pressing the home button, the menu button, settings, pressing the menu button again, then selecting reset to factory defaults. After your Kindle restarts, go to archived items in home and re-download the items you'd like to read. Transfer back the personal documents and other files you had previously backed up. The 
next issue that you may have is that you cannot share your annotations. This issue can typically be resolved by deleting some content to create more free space on your Kindle. Make sure you have backup copies of any personal documents, periodical issues older than the past seven issues that you'd like to keep before deleting them from your Kindle. To check the amount of free space on your Kindle, do the following. Press the home button, press the menu button. The amount of free space is displayed in the upper left hand corner of the screen. If you have less than 500 kilobytes of free space, delete some content from your Kindle. So these are some of the more prevalent issues that people may have with their Kindle and possible solutions.